did you want to get off the label? Like at some point, mm-hmm. like you know, you hear this story a thousand times by every major label artist where it's not sort of clicking, right? Right. Um, which it stopped clicking at some point. It did. Then their dream becomes, and it's so, super ironic because their dream is to be on the label, and right. then their dream is to get the fuck off the label. Right. My dream was at that time was yeah. crushed. I didn't want to get off. I wanted to stay. Wow. Okay. I wanted because I felt important. I felt that that was again with my ego and like how I lost myself. I put my full identity and like, no, I got to be signed to a major label because if not, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. Right. Well, yeah. Which is the wrong type of thinking, which I've grown to learn is not good. But at that time I was, you know, at the end of Interscope, I was 22. So I was still very young. They didn't drop me. It's just my lawyer was like, look, they're not dropping you, but they don't care about you anymore. So your best option is to just let's get out because you might as well be dropped because you could stay there, but you're not gonna be able to do what you want. You're gonna have to approve everything. Like if you want to get on another label or just do what you want by yourself, you need to get off. So talk about like, yeah. you know, pride coming before the fall. Can you imagine like wanting to stay on it there so insane. bad? Dude, I said where, to my lawyer, yeah. I was like, I was like, is that the move? Like, can I just, can I stay? Like, cause I you just, were still willing I was, I was to so stay. Naive. Yeah, I yeah. just wanted to feel validated. Yeah. I wanted to feel like, wow. dude, that, I was addicted to, to how I felt on Interscope.